Hello. This is the beginning of chicken training. our farming hats we are ready for some chicken training so what kind of chickens are we working with mom we've got one Rhode Island Red and three Bard Rocks and they are almost two months old and how much experience do you have training chickens Jenna very little experience training same <laughs> same here so I did a little collaboration with the avian behavioral lab and they were mentioning actually just if you follow them on Instagram they work a lot with chickens and my mom recently got chickens. They were saying how smart chickens are and how fun they are to train. So we thought that we would take a little jab at it. Stab at it? I like it, jab. So we thought we would- Applicable for the times. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> First step basically that we were taught is to just get the chickens used to eating food out of our hands and get them desensitized to us. They're pretty like wild right now. They're not very close with us. So that's what we're gonna be working on today. Let's do some chicken. You need some vitamin D, bud. Very good. So the ladies love to come out. Ladies. Oh, they don't ladies. Know you guys. That's interesting. They usually run out, but they have new people. Oh, come on, little they guys. They usually come flying out. So that shows that they're getting. Yeah, they're getting they're used to getting it. used to me. Hi, right, babies. Can I open this to just show my yeah. peeps? Well, they are today. not very apt. To wanting to be with us at the moment they don't they know me but they don't know you guys yeah so you're saying that they would come yes. out oh yeah they, they come flying out all right well I'll back off and let you okay they should come out <laughs> the chickens were hesitant to come out because of Jenna and I so we just opened up the chicken coop and let them come out on their own accord this took about five minutes my mom also was able to lure them out with grapes since she knew that that like was one of their favorite foods Oh gosh, yeah, they're so. <laughs> yeah, they usually come flying. I think they have. So our training is not going as planned. <laughs> they're all hiding. Mama Jane is up in the bushes. This is exactly why we need to train them, you know? Okay. Alright, so Jenna, throw some of those mealworms right in right in this patch. Just don't go too close because we don't want to scare them. But yeah, throw some. Let's see. Yeah, just like right over here. Since the chickens were so afraid of Jenna and I, and they know my mom since she would feed them every day, we decided to let my mom start feeding the chickens with a bowl full of chopped yeah. up mealworms. Oh, oh, nice, mom. Okay, so that's great. Here you go. So good. Mom, if you do this every day, if you feed them out of your hand every day, I think that that's like a really good start. Good idea. I'll do I'm gonna do a little bit of voiceover here so I don't bore you guys, but basically we figured out that the chickens were afraid of our hands because we used to grab them to put them back into their coop. So we just started using the bowl filled with mealworms instead of our hands. As you can see, training any new animal takes time, takes a lot of patience, and troubleshooting. We had to figure out how to get these birds to even come near us, and that just took probably an hour of our time, and once we figured it out, we could begin the gist of our training. And once the birds were familiar with the bowl filled with mealworms, we could pass it around and let one another feed the birds because they were familiar and comfortable with the tool that we were using. It took a second. We've dialed in the first step of the process. Yeah, so are. what have we learned in this short in this short training session that if you just be patient. have some patience and and do the right thing, then usually it will Don't force them. Yeah, it'll work itself out. It's gonna take a lot of work. Because look, they're like, ah. like we're out of here. And then they go back into the tree. Alright, so day one. That was pretty good. That's yeah. basically I what think we that started. Good. Chickens! So they love the mealworm. Oh. 
We repeated this training and spent a good amount of time with the chickens for about a week or so before taking the next steps. We wanted to make sure that they were fully comfortable eating out of our hands. Hey, chicky, chicky, chickies. Chicky, chicky, chickies. Let you guys out for a while. Be free. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Last one is a rotten egg. <laughs> So we've, <clears throat> I just crushed up a bunch of mealworms. Um, you gotta crush them because they're still technically babies. They're only two months old and mealworms can get stuck in their throat. So I crushed them up and I'm gonna show you guys how I get them to come up on my arm. They're still shy, so we have a lot of work to do. Oh look, they already see that I have treats. Um, but this is a huge step compared to how they were before. <laughs> so this is what I do. Okay, come on. Step up, step up, good. What I've realized is just some patience and understanding and a good treat goes such a long way. Very similar to when you bring home a new parrot, you know, you wanna give them time. You don't wanna push things, rush things, or force any animal to be outside of their comfort zone. Um, that's what we. That's what we've done with these chickens. We've just given them some time, and they love these mealworms. Okay, so what I do here, we have the chicken. Is I'm going to put my arm in the way, and then they naturally will step up on it to get their reinforcement. And then let them feast. So I think the next step, we're <laughs> they're pecking my shoelaces. They pretty much just peck everything. Oh, hi. So the next thing I think we're gonna work on is definitely recall training, but I think that just comes with time. I think the more that I call them and have a reinforcement to give them or a treat, they're gonna, they're just gonna come out. If you don't hold your hand super taut, they'll like catch part of your skin with their beak. All right, you guys, this was the first two steps of chicken training. If you wanna see more, then let me know. I'm probably gonna keep posting chicken videos cause I love them. But um, hope this helps. The tactics I use with chickens is very similar to what you do with any new bird that comes into your home. You know, giving them time, space, patience, and some treats that they like, some good reinforcers. I hope everyone has a great rest of their day and thank you as always for watching. We really appreciate all the love and support.